Hey, Kirby, baby girl. Hey, Secret Agent 420. Hey, 63 Ford Falcon. Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome to a quick half hour of cartoon drawing time. What a fortunate moment for you because I just decided randomly to go on and here we are. I decided to start my stream with Rick, but not just any Rick. I am going for Toxic Rick from the episode where they go to the spa. I think that episode has one of the greatest openings of any uh, TV half hour in all of TV history. You know what I'm talking about, where they go on this whole epic quest and then they get in the car and they both have a total breakdown. And uh, they say they need a vacation or something like that. It's hilarious. I don't know. If you haven't seen it, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you have seen it, then you do. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Just hopping on for a quick half hour of cartoon drawing with you this fine morning. I'll be taking your requests as soon as I finish this Toxic Rick. Let's see, for his hair. Oh, we still need to do the other ear. And we need his hair. Like so. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Good morning. Happy Friday to you. I'm not going to be online this weekend, so I thought I would get ahead of the cartoon drawing game. Okay, should I take the first request? I'm done drawing. Ooh, Peter Pan! Yeah, Peter Pan, like contemporary Peter Pan from the Rescue Rangers, or like... Classic. You probably mean classic. I'll give you classic Peter Pan. Here we go. Classic Peter Pan. Hope everyone's doing well. Having a nice day so far. Thank you all for being here. Nice to have you. Thanks for those follows. Thanks for the likes. It's just a quick half hour of cartoon request time. No big deal. No stress. No mess. Maybe a mess. I mean, I have been known to make a mess of a cartoon character or two in my live streams. But I'll do my best to get everyone drawn nicely, respectfully. Well, mostly respectfully. How's everybody doing? You having a good day? I hope you're doing good. Hope you have some fun plans for the weekend. I am taking the weekend off of being online. I'm going full cell phone off type of situation. Pretty excited about it. But I will miss drawing with you. So that's why I'm here to say I hope you have a good weekend. Oh, I don't know about this Peter Pan at the moment. He's a little bit more like a... He looks almost like a uh, snap, crackle, pop type of uh, Peter Pan. I don't draw Peter Pan all that often. It'd be a good one to get better at. Okay. Yeah, Doggo in the background. Hold on. It's an active house around here today. As I prepare to take my time off, there's somebody working on the apartment upstairs, so there's hammering. I'm actually in Justice's studio with Blue currently. Who should I draw next, guys? Uh, who should I draw next? Okay, I, I see so much SpongeBob uh, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, let's 
let's do what the people are asking for, which is SpongeBob. It's a little bit always SpongeBob, but I really worked hard on SpongeBob recently. So I imagine I can do a pretty solid SpongeBob just from memory right now. Uh, little guy there. Three little dots. I think that might actually be in a triangle, but you'll have to settle for the right number in the wrong formation. They should have a competition where you have to draw cartoon characters from memory at speed. I'm not saying I would win the competition, but I am saying that I would enter the competition and I would enjoy myself and probably draw some very funny things. Okay, SpongeBob for the people. I even know now that SpongeBob generally has four uh, holes, I guess, sponge holes going up the side. I always forget that I should draw his arm, sh his shoulder first because it should actually be up above his body there. In the video that I made, the tutorial that I made for drawing SpongeBob, I completely forgot to draw his belt. I'll not be forgetting it this time. Thanks for being here, everybody. Okay, what did I just learn about his legs? You get these big cylinder shapes at the top. You get long legs going down. You get three stripes for his tops of his socks. Shoe comes down like that. Has one little shine in it. I'm not going to color in the black on this SpongeBob today. And then for his hand, we're going to go like so around like that. Draw the sleeve. Okay, there's your SpongeBob. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Pikachu. SpongeBob long body. Yeah, he's a little bit narrow. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Uh, I'll, I'll do Courage right here because he's another one that I feel fairly confident I can uh, draw from memory. I'm not sure how I'm going to justify him being this... Uh, in the air because really he should be down below in terms of a, an appropriate scale for the drawing hope everyone's having a good friday i hope you have a fun weekend planned for yourself uh so part of why i'm here is to tell you that all three of the uh half hour cartoon academy classes are now on youtube uh so if you want to see uh oh how do his boy i'm just gonna make it up I'm just going to assume that this is what uh, I never draw Courage the Cowardly Dog's lower body. I'm sure that's not it at all. I really don't know what his tail looks like. Rips. 3,000 people. Hi, everybody. Uh, aggressive Scrappy-Doo. I will 100% draw Scrappy-Doo. Uh, angry Scrappy-Doo. Aggressive Scrappy-Doo. Good one. Um, yeah, so uh, the thing that I am trying to say is that, okay, uh, Cartoon Academy classes are all on YouTube now, and I cut them down to just the half an hour um, of real content, so I cut the live draws out of them. So you now have, if you want, you have an hour and a half of pretty good, I think, uh, content on YouTube where you can watch me talk about drawing cartoons. It's a great time to catch up on the homework. Uh, all of the homework uh, is accepted until the class closes uh, in case you want to go for that certificate, um, that meaningless certificate that I issue with no actually uh, meaning other than my love of your work and, and the fact that I you know, confirm that you um, did the work. So those are live on YouTube. Also, uh, I'm not going to be here this weekend. So this is the last draw until Monday or Tuesday. Um, and cause I'm going off the phone, baby. 
I'm taking a break from the digital world for my mental health, believe it or not. Um, and also, so I just scanned uh, every drawing I've done for TikTok, which turns out is about 1,400 drawings. Um, and I put them into a PDF, and I put the PDF on my website for $5. And I'm only going to sell it for this weekend. I'm going to turn the phone off and let people get at it if they want to. I think it's kind of a cool thing, and it's a sort of a once once available type of situation. Um, and so that's there. Um, I also just put a bunch of art on my website for the first time. I've never sold any of my TikTok work, but I guess I'm selling uh, 21 drawings that I made for TikTok, or at least for the Cartoon Ray channel since it started. Um, so CartoonRay.com now has some $15 original drawings, uh, one more expensive original drawing, and then a bunch of mid-tier uh, expensive drawings. So you can check that out. Who should I draw now? Uh, Stewie. Yeah, let's go for Stewie Griffin. Um, so that's cool. There's art available. I've never sold any art to anyone through TikTok, uh, but I, I need to start. I need to start getting my art out into the world. So these are drawings. Uh, the ones on my website are 21 drawings that are the like original drawing that I did uh, and shot video of most likely. Um, so go uh, have at if you want them. There's a couple on there for like there's like a drawing of Sonic the Hedgehog for 15 bucks plus shipping. Um, which is original art for 15 bucks. It's not like the Mona Lisa, right? But it's original. Uh, it's it's hand-drawn by me, and it's $15 plus shipping. This is my sales voice. It's terrible. Um, but the really cool thing to me is the $5 PDF, where you can get all uh, 1,400 or so of my drawings that I've done while working on this channel, while building this channel, um, and I'm only going to put it up this weekend because I don't actually think it, I don't think I actually want a ton of people to have it. Um, and I don't want it to just be all the time available. So it's a short term thing for, for you. Um, okay. Uh, who should I draw next? Uh, I sell my art. I just have a square space, square space page. Um, and I just listed a bunch of stuff. So Perry the platypus. I see it. I see you. Uh, let's see. We got about... 12 minutes left on this stream. It's a fast one today. I appreciate y'all being here. I'll try and crank out some characters a little bit faster. But that might mean I play a little fast and loose with the rules. There's a little mistake I made. How can I resolve it? I can make that line a little thicker. I was almost going to live stream from my studio, but... Uh, the uh, landlord is working on the place above us, and there's a lot of hammering going on right now. I thought maybe I could hack it, but I think I'd be too embarrassed. That's very frustrating when uh, there's people unexpectedly working on your house, and you're trying to have a conversation with 2,200 people on the internet, you know? What are you supposed to do? It's rude to 2,200 people at once. I already think it's rude to me when they're hammering upstairs without letting me know in advance. But now I'm saying you should listen to it too. No, I couldn't do it. I'm too bashful, guys, on that front. Um, okay, there's your pair of the platypus. Um, as uh, wholesome place. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, it's um, I can do Peppa Pig. I just taught you how to do Peppa Pig in class one of Cartoon Academy. Um, so I better be able, actually, now I say that, and I'm like, can I actually draw Peppa Pig from memory? Maybe? I don't know. It's not like Peppa's that complicated, right? I hope. Uh, who else, guys? What else should I draw? Uh, I did SpongeBob over here, and Peter Pan, and Toxic Rick. This is the stash for the day. Pikachu! Pikachu! Um, oh, that's really nice. I, I appreciate the, uh, wholesome comment um i you know i don't i don't like to be sappy I, I don't like sappy or cheesy um but i do like uh sincere authentic and uh caring uh i think that that's cool i'm 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 into that uh 
caring about people and things, mostly living things. You know, I, I think mostly that's that's what I think we should be concerned with caring about just other living things. So I appreciate your wholesome comment, Pikachu. If you're new, uh, yeah, there's a PDF of 1,400 drawings of mine for five dollars on my website, and. Uh, all three of the Cartoon Academy classes, which are like half an hour of pretty fun content, are on YouTube. And what was the other thing? I'm selling drawings for the first time on my website. Um, we'll see how they do. But some of them are cheap. So uh, actually, they're all, to, to me, in my opinion, they're all very affordable for what they are. But I'm just trying to do a, like a, you know, make, a, make art available to everyone. As much as I can. I was totally drawn off camera, wasn't I? Yeah. I hate that. It's very frustrating to me. Okay. I, I, my brain tells me, just draw him from memory. He's so straightforward. But you know what? It's not as straightforward as I think. Every single time I wind up doing something that's uh, not quite in line with the Pink Panther's actual design. Like, for example, that nose should have come up to a point. Thank you all for being here. I hope you have a happy weekend coming up for you. Or at least that there's something uh, good. I don't know about you, but it seems like it's we're heading into a heat wave where I am. Um, so enjoy these last uh, uh, moments of, of springiness. If you can find some water to swim in or some sh big trees to stand under, that is my, as your, <laughs> as your lawyer, that's my number one suggestion. Just get under some trees or get in some water. I think you'll thank me later. Okay, there's your Pink Panther. Um, Spyro Stitch. Yeah, I think this, this is sort of a, just almost a, a greatest hits uh, drawing right now. With the, what with the Stitch and the Stewie, the Pikachu. Um, I do. I wind up drawing a lot of the same characters. That's actually something you'll see if you get my $5, 1,500-page PDF, 1,400-page PDF. Um, you'll see that I draw the same character all the time. Uh, I don't know. I've drawn SpongeBob. Could be... I don't know. It'd be interesting. You could figure it out by looking at the book. But uh, SpongeBob, I've drawn at least... Let's say 20 Spongebobs. I think easily 20 Spongebobs since I started this channel. And the first Spongebobs are not as good as the later Spongebobs, but it's not all straight forward, right? It's not like every, like, it's not like each next Spongebob is the best Spongebob. There are like some steps back, some oopsies. Um, that's kind of why I wanted to make that PDF and share it with you is to show you like, I put in all the drawings, so even the bad ones, um, even the trials, even the ones where I, I decided, ooh, I don't want to share that on TikTok. So it's actually like a very uh, uh, intimate self-portrait, let's say. Um, and But I think it's cool. And you can see, you know, uh, you know, for each TikTok post, there could be, I mean, as few as one... And as many as, I know his notch should have been higher on this year. Um, as few as one, that's eh, a little bit weird. His ear connection there is not exactly what I want it to be. I want it to, eh, it's not terrible. Um, here, it's mirror stitch. How about that? So the, the notches on his ears are switched. Okay, we still got 10 minutes in this uh, stream. That's pretty cool. Hi, Iana. Cosmo, maybe Wanda. Let's do Wanda because uh, because she's a girl and everyone else in this damn drawing is a boy. Darn. Darn. I mean darn. I'm not a cusser. Um, so what are we talking about? I don't know. How are you? I, I talk a lot. You know? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> How's your day? Just say it out loud. I won't be able to hear it, but just say it out loud and, you know, karmically the butterfly effect it'll it'll get back to me in some way so just verbally out loud right now please as many people as i can get just say like i'm okay or like i'm pissed off or like uh i am tired 
or like, I'm irritated and swiping away from this guy's <laughs> channel. So just say something out loud and, you know, and contribute to the uh, sum total of noise in the world. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I like your noise, so I think you should contribute your noise to the great cacophony of existence. What are we talking about? I'm not going to be here this weekend. I'm taking a legit digital media uh, electric toy hiatus for just the weekend. Um, I'm going to go sit under a tree and get in some cold water myself. That's why I recommend it to you. Um, that's why I'm doing this stream right now. Is uh, I just wanted to say hi and bye because uh, I won't be here until Tuesday. I'm taking a second off. Um. Yep, that's about all I have to say about that. See, I always start saying, go ahead, you talk now, but then I just wind up talking over you all the time. Uh, we got five more minutes in this here stream. Cheshire Cat, yeah, let's, oh, okay, how about I do a really quick, just because I saw him and I've seen the request coming up uh, a bunch on this stream. Here you go. I think that's the first time I've ever whistled for you guys. That's funny. I whistle, but you don't know that. I wonder how whistling sounds coming across the stream. Sound okay? Was it grating? It sounded incredible in person, so, you know, I, don't, I can't help you, really. Um, okay, there's your Winnie the Pooh. And then who did I say? I did not forget this time. I said I would do Cheshire Cat next. I just think Cheshire Cat is going to take a, a little bit more. And actually, I'm going to maybe put a little bit more energy into a drawing of the Cheshire Cat currently. Did I just draw that all off camera? Apologies if I did. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, okay, so what do you need to know? Uh, do you know that I teach a thing called Cartoon Academy? Are you aware of that? And that I'm going to do it basically through the whole summer, every Tuesday and Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. And this coming Tuesday is going to be the fourth class. Uh, but just last night, I uploaded the first three classes in kind of like just the 30 minutes of content, but not the... Uh, build up and and after time of uh cartoon request and anyway those are up on tiktok now not tiktok the other one uh which apparently maybe i'm not supposed to say the name of but um what's my point go watch those classes i'm gonna do these classes through the summer you could catch up on the homework really easily if you wanted to um and the Homework, if you accumulate enough of it, it gets you a certificate at the end of the class, which is cool. It'll be like a very few people will actually get the certificate, so it's going to be a rare thing. Uh, and even though all you have to do is homework, it does you don't have to do good homework or do homework right. Anyway, my point is go watch them and consider doing the homework because some people are, and it's really awesome. I, I'm super loving the uh, amount that people are drawing to be a part of this class. Okay, uh, other than that, um, let's see. What does he need? He has some kind of spots around his eyes. I don't know. I don't love this Cheshire cat. Something's off about him. I think the line weight on this pen's a little bit uh, dicey to me at the moment. Okay, Lord of the Rings cartoon. Like Bilbo Baggins, like the one that was just on Smiling Friends. Okay, I will draw the Bilbo Baggins cartoon character, which actually I really adore this request. That's a, that is a great request. Thank you. I love these. I think it's Ralph Bakshi, right? It's got to be. Um, I love this cartoon. It's freaking bizarre and shocker. I think things that are bizarre are awesome. I like weird stuff. I like stuff that's weird. 
Um, I just love his, like, super defined eyes. Um, okay, so what's, uh, what should I tell you? Um, I hope you have a good weekend. I've said it a few times, but surely there are people who are new in here who didn't hear me say it before. I hope you have a good weekend. Um, I hope you go outside. If there's some way for you to go in cold water, I hope you do it. And if there's a way for you to sit under a tree in the shade, maybe drawing a cartoon or something, I hope you do that. Um, and if not, I just hope you find a way to take a little bit of time to be nice to yourself. And what else do I think? Uh, I just put the stuff on my website. There's stuff that you can buy from me for the first time, a PDF, a 1,400-page PDF for $5, or original drawings that I drew for this channel, uh, also available um, for starting at 15 plus shipping, I think, and going up more expensive, but the more expensive ones are bigger, cooler, more complicated. Oh my God, his hair is so weird. Ralph Bakshi has a lot of uh, this like 1970s style is, I've been thinking a lot of lately about how I feel like uh, contemporary animation, even going back to the 70s and 80s is just so influenced by Japanese animation. Um, Ralph Bakshi always seems like American anime to me somehow. Does that make sense? Do we have any animation historians who can uh, back me up or tear me down on this? Somebody knows if I'm what I'm perceiving. Aw, and two little buck hobbit teeth. That's adorable. Um, so yeah, go watch the car the classes on YouTube. It's an hour and a half of content, and I think it's fairly entertaining. Um, and then you can catch up on class and join the class with me starting in, uh, you know, in a couple of days, uh, next Tuesday. And also go buy stuff from my website or don't. But uh, I just have to tell you I did it because I put a lot of work into getting stuff on the store. So I have to be proud of it. Okay, let's see. I'm going to call that uh, Bilbo Baggins. Actually, I'll give him his little... I like the uh, costuming. Ruffled neck. Coat coming down. Okay, there we go. Let's draw you one more thing before I peace out. Unbreon. What is Unbreon? Garnet. Donnie from Harry Potter. I mean, Dobby. Ashoka or a clone trooper. Uh, thank you for that follow. Space Jam. Uh, Lord of the Rings Hobbit art. Yes, it is. Welcome. Hi. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. The Tick. Dobby. Uh, yeah, let's... Okay, I see, I'm seeing Dobby. Let's draw Dobby. Um... Thank you all for being here. It's nice to have you. Um, I want a head-on shot of Dobby if I can get one. Uh, ooh, no, maybe I don't. <laughs> Dobby, Dobby has some unflattering angles. Okay. Here's Dobby. Um, yeah. I think I ran out of stuff to say. Why don't, why don't you talk for a while? Just, you know, sitting in your room or um, on the bus or whatever. Just start talking. Tell me how you're doing. What's going on? Sometimes, like, I definitely don't actually wish this because it would be a nightmare. But sometimes I wish I could, like, play audio versions, audio clips of some of your comments because I don't always see right most comments because I'm sort of staring at the paper um be fun to have the ability to have like a conversation while I work this is something I love about this uh current cartoon tiktok preoccupation I have is gosh he doesn't look happy um 
even though I am technically on the phone all the time, I am not actually staring at it. I'm staring at the paper that the phone is also pointed at. That's kind of cool. Dobby has a bit of a Yoda-ness to him, doesn't he? I've never really thought about that. I'm like, right now, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, I really want to talk about or do a drawing about the similarities between Dobby and Gollum and Yoda. I've never made this association before. You're here for the uh, my revelation about <laughs> small, weird characters with big ears. But come on. I mean, if I told you I was drawing Yoda right now, you'd be like, yeah, I mean, kind of. And just the same way I'm like, I'm drawing Dobby right now. And you're like, mm, yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it's definitely not Gollum because Gollum has uh, not these big curved ears. It's so funny, you know, because you think about, you're like Star Wars, you know, where it's like all these crazy creatures, but then you're like, well, actually, Yoda's just sort of like an, a troll or a gnome or something from, like, I mean, this character pre-existed, right? This, this, what, what is Dobby, an elf? A troll? Something like that. But I'm saying that Yoda's, somebody's going to get super mad at me about this. Yoda's 100% original. But I'm just saying, like, little little creepy mischief makers have been around for a long time. Rumpelstiltskin. Uh, anyway, I don't know what my point was. Um, oh, yeah, you think Star Wars really is really original, but then you start watching it, and you're like, oh, that's a, it's a knight. That's, a, that's like basically King Arthur right there, that Luke Skywalker. And then you're like, uh, oh, and that that's like a brontosaurus... Spider, that's not really one of the things, but uh, you can really see, like, the, oh, they combine, like, a rat and a deer, and that's that little character in the foreground. It's all just recombination, guys. It's all just uh, taking things that already exist and putting them into new forms. At least that's my opinion. I could be wrong. I probably am. <laughs> you know, statistically speaking, I'm probably wrong about most things. Um, okay, guys, uh, let's do one more easy one, and then I'm gonna gonna go. Um, Jar Jar Binks, Pepe. Let's do Pepe Le Pew. What's Pepe Le Pew's? Um, God, I want to say I would have uh, earlier in life. I would have said, "What is Pepe Le Pew's girlfriend's name?" Uh, more like what is Pepe Le Pew's uh, victim's name? I mean, he's uh, a pretty, pretty aggressive uh, character. She's not into it, you know. He should back off. And yet, I'm drawing him. Uh, what's my point? <laughs> oh, just that I would have used to call her his girlfriend, and now I would definitely call him, call her his uh, prey or victim or something else. It's funny how times change, guys, but boy, do they. Things things in my life and honestly in the world seem almost unrecognizable to three months ago. And let's not even get started talking about, you know, five years ago. Anyway, that's as heavy as I'm willing to get currently. Thank you for indulging it. Or not. Did I lose everyone? I didn't lose everyone. Oh, no, he's getting political. Oh boy, he's talking about doom and gloom. Oh boy, let's uh, <laughs> swipe him out of existence. Nah, you know, you know, I, uh, I, I like to, uh, I like to look into the void, and uh, and and smile at it while it goes. <laughs> if I can, that's my, you know, my best, uh, my best hope for myself is smiling into the void. And it's okay, Void. I even appreciate you for what you are. Pepe Le Pew, everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, for real, I'm going to leave when I'm done with this Pepe Le Pew. Um, I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, I'll see you again next week. Uh, if you want to buy a piece of art, you can do that right now. And if you want to buy a PDF that is on sale for just a short time, just this weekend... 
that has everything I ever drew for TikTok since I started this channel in it. Uh, you can get that now for uh, just the weekend, and it's five bucks, and then I'm going to take it down on Monday. So consider doing that, and then uh, other than that, uh, I got nothing else to say. So color in this shoulder on <laughs> Predator <laughs> Pepe Love. Pew and sign that puppy, even though I didn't sign any of the other work this morning, and say, uh, I love you. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you next week. Bye.